show for you today. We're swapping out the brush holders for the exciter. It's gonna be a good time. This, this is gonna be neat. So these are our slip rings. This is our mount. These are the new brush holders because some dumb twat burnt up the old brush holders, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about the, the charred, shattered remains of brushes that have been just fucking incinerated. They're supposed to look like that. This is what they look like. Okay, look, check out the holder here. Okay, see this? These, these bits, see this charred, shattered, shredded? It's supposed to look like, like this. This is, this is a shiny new one. Okay, so for a difference, here's the holder pins. New hotness, old busted. This is what we're installing today. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm here with my good friend, Bootsy Armstrong, and uh, we're gonna install brushes and brush holders. See, I've gotten to install brushes a million times. I never did brush holders before. It's a whole thing. This is, this is exciting. This is cool. So hang in there. It's gonna be a cool show today. Every time I put a foot there, an OSHA inspector's head explodes. Thin layers, Chris, thin layers. That's it, you know, it sorts itself out when you stick it in the hole. It's, it's going to clean it right off. And of all the 15 different chemicals, lubricants, etc., that this antique is covered in, this is one of the nicest and cleanest ones. I'm going to grab my service mallet here. See, a trick is to, to hide that because it, sometimes it spits. Just Look remember, at that. Any tool can be the right tool if you misuse it or not. See, well that's, you know what this is? This is my millwright's hammer. Right there, that's what that is. Precision millwright's hammer. All right, so now we're gonna set our grub screws. For those of you who've watched my robotics videos, finger tight plus a quarter turn works in the real world too. Wiggle it just a little bit. It's kind of neat doing this knowing that once I put this on here, it's absolutely reasonable that that's going to be there for a hundred years. All right, you have a big ass pair of pliers. Not your electrician's hammer there, but well, that might work. Can you hand me that hammer? Thank you. Oh, not, maybe, maybe, maybe. Close. It's close enough! You know, if this was a union shop, we'd be thrown off the job by now. Why? Electricians doing millwright work, millwrights holding cameras. Well, we're working on a goddamn generator here, installing brush holders, so I count that as an electrical job. That's just how I see it, but I, I count it as a definitely. This is electrician work. Millwrights are the guys that make this part. Okay, this is electrician part. Depends on the contract. Millwrights get the first connection off of anything. Yeah? Yep. Although, if we do have any union millwrights and electricians, let's discuss this in the comments below. <laughs> Great! You're going to... And demonetize. <laughs> All right, I think we're in. I think we're good. That feels right. You got a fresh new brush? Oh, they're in the box. Lunch box has not touched them yet. Yeah, these are these are virgin. Oh, look at these. They got like uh -huh. little fiberglass insulators. On the back. Oh yeah. That's, That's right. Cool. You haven't installed these nice ones before. Oh, these are these are sexy. We don't have the grinder to fit or nothing. No, they just drop right in there. Oh my God, that's so nice. All right guys, this is kind of cool and most people never actually get to see this. So let's take a minute and talk about it. This is a brush. 
Now, you have lots of these all around you all the time. Um, any motor that you have that you look in the back when it's running, and you'll see this on sawzalls, drills, power tools, stuff like that, sewing machines, electric mixers. Grandma's treadmill. Yep. Any motor that you see a little tiny spark in the back, if you look inside through the fins, has one of these in it. This is where the sparking is happening. And what this is, is a piece of carbon with a wire impregnated in it. And this passes electricity into or out of a thing that is moving. And depending on the type of motor, the thing that is moving may be a slip ring, in this case, where it's a continuous conductor all the way around, or it may be a commutator, which is what you're gonna see most of the time around the house. And if it's a commutator, it'll be a big copper ring like this with a lot of little slices in it. And it just, it serves a different purpose that we'll talk about in a different video. But this, which in my world is actually kind of tiny, is a giant ass brush. And this is how you install it. Because this is a wear item, so they had to make it easy to change these out every now and then. This part's gonna be here for 100 years. This part's gonna get replaced about 20 minutes after Fumblefuck turns it back on, probably. So what we have in here is a precision fit holder that that exactly slides into, and then two springs. There's a spring here that you can see squeezing that way, and then this little coil spring, and if I push down, you can see the coil spring unrolls, okay? And that's why there, this has this little piece of fiberglass or phenolic on the bottom. So when I swing this up and push it in and push all the way down, this locks and now our little spring is applying just the lightest pressure on that brush. And at first, when we first start out, the brush isn't gonna, pr oh wow, they machined it already. So when we first start out, this isn't gonna make a perfect connection here but it'll wear in pretty quick. And then once it does, the curve of the brush is exactly going to fit the curve of the ring so closely that if I were to take the brush out of here and put it in here, it would have to start the wearing process over because this ring's a little bit different from this ring because it's been doing this for 70 years. But that's a brush holder. And the next time some guy wants to charge you like 500 bucks to come change the brushes in your shop, watch this. Five hundred dollar no holla. Thank you, sir. That's how hard it is to change a brush. It's really easy. In fact, um, this is the first electrical job I ever did in the industrial world when I was a twelve-year-old boy. I changed the brushes on the Whitcomb locomotive that is now in Coopersville and used to be in Muskegon because I was twelve and I was the only one who would fit in the fucking hole. So yeah, I got to do that when I was a kid. Thanks, Dad. All right, so a thing to keep in mind when you're when you're installing these, if your if your brush holders are articulated like this, then you want to set this so that the brush sits. You'll see that the brush I have is already machined to match the expected radius, which is really cool. That helps a lot. And you don't want it sitting like that, cocked up on the side. And you don't want it cocked up on that side. You want it nice and happy. And if you have just the slightest pressure, and and I'm just pushing on the back of the brush or even just on a brush cable, you'll feel when it's happy. Like it'll want to sit in a certain spot and that's where you want it. So to adjust this for the, not not for anything but the brush holder to get everything where you want, you want to set your elevation here and that's the distance between this and the ring, which for us is about a quarter, three eighths of an inch. And then you set your articulation and get it just right for the angle. So we've got the articulation point the way we want it, and we can move here and grab with this, and we can move here, and that just does this. So this is really what sets our offset, is by adjusting up here, and down here adjusts our angle. So I've got this about where I want it. We're a little high, but I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm gonna tighten that down, quarter tight, or finger tight plus quarter turn. Then I'm gonna check this. That's, that's good. And then tighten this. Now that's tight. 
check it, looks good. And then we lock our brush in. Now, for the guy who comes along after me and just has to change these brushes, they won't have to adjust all this. Probably. <laughs> but, for, so for just changing the brushes, you just pop that up. But when you install the holders, it's important to get that angle right. And that's why this mount can be moved in so many ways. That's why they use this pin and clamp system because it lets me move this anywhere I want here and anywhere I want here. It's a lot of range of motion from a very simple, reliable, repeatable system. So now you know. That's how you set your alignment for your brushes. Hold on. I'm hearing water that's annoying the shit out of me. Oh, uh, okay. A packing land that needs to be tightened. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Not for nothing. But let me just get this straight. You just said, sorry, water left you alone. Yeah, I'm tight so the packing blade. We're standing in the bottom of a hydroelectric dam. Yeah. There's water shit 20 feet up the wall behind us. Yeah. You heard the sounds of water infiltration. Mm -hmm. And your solution to this was not. Hey, Chris, maybe you want to get the fuck out of here while I check this out. It was, no, I'm going to go just, I'm, I'm just going to lose. Not, don't let me know. No, you're fine. I'm the guy who can't even swim. Right, but it wasn't coming through the concrete. And you're just so going to leave good. me behind here when you hear the sound of water rushing in when we're under a hydroelectric dam. Do you want me to show you the other room? No, no, I've, I've seen. Okay. I've, I've seen the dungeon. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to not think about that. Okay. While I'm down. I don't mind that when I'm up there, but when I'm down here, I don't want to think about that. That's all right. You, swimming I'm will just, be your I'm least gonna, concern if there was a breach. There's, swimming will not be a problem. No. Yeah. No, that, that's true. Can, can I have a brush, please? Oh, you got it right here. Look at you. I am proactive. All right. Oh, hey. What, you know what I can use to do this right? Uh-huh. I've got my Armstrong brand six-inch crescent wrench. Now, here's, here's how you set a brush connection if you want to make your boss twitch a little bit. You get it lined up, get it in there just, just so. Yeah, I'm twitching. Okay. And you use this so that you're pushing down on the metal parts. And then when the boss ain't looking... Oh, for the love of God. That's how you do it. <laughs> Just don't let the boss see and it'll be fine. Damn kids from Coopersville. They ain't sticking in a farm animal. They don't know what the hell they're doing. That's beautiful. That's done. Pay me, bitch! Alright, so that's a look at how to install brushes and their holders. I'm Chris Bowden. That's Bootsy Armstrong. And as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. You guys have fun. <laughs>